Welcome to Awning Composer version 5 tips and tricks. This video is a quick overview of the new default value system found in all of the prompts throughout Awning Composer. The default options can be found in both the parameters section and the estimation add-on. You'll notice if you scroll over the name of any parameter like rafter spacing, the text turns blue. This means there are default options available for this parameter. Once you click the blue text, the set default value window will pop up on the screen allowing you to set the default values. In this box, choose whether you want to set the default value for all dynamic objects or just for the object that you're working on. By setting the default values, you can pre-configure dynamic objects so that when they're added to your scene, they'll automatically match the way your company builds them. This is a great time savings tool. Now, after you've set your default values, those values are stored in a file that can be shared with other computers. You can also have different sets of default values, depending on the types of awnings you're building. For example, lace-on versus a staple-on awning. To see the current set of values, go to File, Options, then Default Values. As you can see, I've set default values for overhead, slash profit factor and rafter spacing. This list of values represents all the default values you currently have set. These values are stored in a file that you can save or merge with another file. So if you've set the default values for half of your object and your coworker sets the other half, you can easily merge the two files to create one master default values file. To learn more about sharing techniques, Read the Advanced Sharing Techniques section in our Default Values Overview. Thanks for watching, and to find out more quick tips about default values, follow us on Facebook, www.facebook.com/awningcomposer.